Russia is losing the strategic initiative in the war against Ukraine. The Russian armed forces are too weak for serious operations at the front. An associate of the Czechist Igor Strelkov, Z-War correspondent Maxim Kalashnikov, openly spoke about this in his blog. The propagandist emphasized that the Russian army today is not capable of either displacing the Ukrainian defense forces from the Kursk region or continuing its offensive on Pokrovsk. Do you understand that we are actually losing the strategic initiative now? The Ukrainian armed forces have invaded Kursk. We don't have the forces to drive the enemy out of there. I always said, why this Kharkiv operation? Why go to Kharkiv from Volchansk? They only wasted their troops. Well, that's having an effect now. The advance on Pokrovsk has also stopped. We don't have the forces now, guys. The strategic scales are starting to tip in favor of our enemy, Kalashnikov said. He also complained about the Putin regime, which, in his words, is unwilling to make the necessary rational decisions. Earlier, it is reported that Kalashnikov predicted catastrophic consequences for Russia if the Kremlin decides on a new wave of mobilization. The Z propagandist is sure that this could end in a revolution. He made attention to the fact that the Russian authorities have already increased the one-time payment to recruits by more than 2 million rubles or about $21,000 at the official exchange rate. Despite this, there are fewer and fewer people willing to participate in the so-called SVO. Meanwhile, the Russian armed forces have developed an acute shortage of manpower at the front due to huge losses. In the first month, the recruit is offered more than 3 million. Guest workers, migrants are welcomed, they are granted citizenship. Everything is flooded with money, loot. What does this mean? Any Western enemy intelligence officer will immediately conclude that there are simply not enough people, that the previous flow of contract soldiers is not enough. He will conclude about the level of losses, about the flow of those now wanting to sign a contract. And this is all a threat, Kalashnikov said. He is sure that the enemies are deliberately pushing the Kremlin to announce a new wave of mobilization in order to cause unrest in the Russian Federation and the collapse of the Putin regime. He is sure that Russia is not ready for a new wave of mobilization. The rear supply is not organized. The Ministry of Defense is in complete disorganization due to mass purges. Rescue operations were ongoing on Friday in the northern Italian region of Emilia-Romagna, following severe flooding after days of torrential rains. About a thousand people were evacuated on Thursday, local media reported. Two people were reported missing in the village of Traversera, where firefighter video showed residents being airlifted to safety. Rivers flooded in three of the region's provinces, Ravenna, Bologna and Fanza as local mayors asked people to stay on upper floors or leave their houses. Trains were suspended and schools closed across the affected areas, and residents have been advised to avoid travel and work from home where possible. The rain is expected to stop on Friday. Several Central and Eastern European nations have been plagued by severe flooding in recent days, including Austria, the Czech Republic, Poland and Romania with the death toll rising over 20 people across the region.